Mark Beatty with Best Tugs. This is the best tug. What makes it the best tug? Well, we did quite a few changes on it. Um, we worked a long time to make sure we came out with something new and innovative. First off, you'll notice the low profile design. We were able to get that uh, patented for prop safe design. A lot of people think that prop damage happens from gear up landings. You might be surprised to know that though that happens and it's catastrophic to a propeller, more common than that is prop striking the tug from people moving their tug and not paying attention. They're watching their wing and then the prop hits the tug, takes the chip out of it. Or even still people that get in the plane and start it and they're just as likely to start with a tug attached to the front as they are with wheel chocks and a lot of us have done those kinds of things. The other big thing is the tug's designed so you have to buy one tug. A lot of us, I've got several airplane. I used to have a jet porter to move my premier jet. I had a super tow to move my meridian. And then I had an air tow to move my Y Cirrus. And then I had a tug that comes from Robinson Helicopters to move our R44. And I thought, I've got $45,000 in tugs. Why don't we build one tug with the different attachments? So this tug comes with a standard attachment for any airplane that, that has retractable gear. And then it has another cradle with an adjustable end for airplanes that have wheel pants like a Cirrus. And then it's got a drop-in attachment for picking up helicopters and moving those around. And that even has interchangeable balls that go on the top to move your boat or your trailer for those who want to squeeze that in real tight into their hangar. So you're not buying multiple tugs to move your aircraft. You can buy one, it'll move anything, including your friend's aircrafts. And then we added things like the jump start port for 12 volt or 24 volt. We've also got a USB charger. So we thought, why not put a cup holder or stratus holder, so you drop your stratus in there, plug in your USB, next time you go for a flight, it's all charged up right there on your tug so you can't forget it, and away you go. But one of the biggest things, it's a full digital system. It's an electric tug, obviously, but it's digital controlled, so we write software for moving airplanes. We're not asking the pilot to control what's happening with their aircraft with the throttle. The throttle's just simply saying, what speed do we want to go? But if they let go, the computer takes over and brings the tug to a stop. It doesn't coast. You don't have to find reverse and switch it into reverse and give throttle and hope the plane doesn't jump out of the tug. You just let go. It's got secure hold. It brings it to a smooth stop. Then we have safe start, safe stop. So if you jam the throttle, even though it has enough torque to rip the landing gear right off your plane, it ramps it up slowly to protect your aircraft. So we try to make it impossible for someone who doesn't know what they're doing to damage their airplane. How much will it tow? Uh, everyone asks us, what's its weight capacity? And we didn't put a weight capacity on our tugs for reason, because it's more about what it can get under. Now we can't move a Citation 5 with either of the two models. We have the Bravo as our smaller one, our Echoes our larger one. We're not gonna say it's a 6,000 pound tug or a 12,000 pound tug, we're just gonna say, Let's get an airplane on there that fits and clears your prop if it's a turboprop, and otherwise it's gonna move it. So this one here, it's gonna move just about anything that will fit and clear. We got a lot of room, so it fits almost anything. But you might go to the Echo if you have a Meridian or a TBM because they've got a really long nose, and we want that prop to be able to swing freely and not hit anything. And so. I'm noticing as well that you've got different skins. You, you can actually well, make it so that it's appealing to... Some, someone says, hey, isn't it kind of gimmicky to make them all kind of sexy and cool like that? I'm like, gimmicky? Are you kidding me? We do crazy things like paint our trailer to match our motorhome because we care, right? You want it to be you. You want it to be an extension of you. And so to have a tug that looks good, that you can customize, you can paint, or like this, you can have that dipped with thousands of different options. It's 85 bucks to go to any place to have that dipped and then clear coated. It's nothing. But why not have that option? We care about this stuff. Well, Mark, it's a great product. It's uh, very innovative, and we really appreciate you taking some time to talk with us today here oh, at Sun and Fun. Thank you. I, I appreciate you stopping by our booth and taking a look. Aero TV is brought to you by Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify, and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com.